a quick audio check. Okay, one more check. Hi, good morning, hope everyone is doing well today. Um, gonna be starting a new save of Stardew Valley. This is legit, I guess, my favorite RPG. This game, like, saved me back in spring when I was working, like, fucking, like, 70 hour weeks. Like, I would, I would work from, like, 7 till 10 and then stay up till, like, 1 playing this game. Cause, like, this was my, this was my comfort game. And I haven't, cause I beat, I'm gonna open a new save today. That's what we're gonna do. Um, <clears throat> I want to start a new save. I'm debating on like what type of environment I want to start, but like I want to try and make like the best, like prettiest farm. That's the goal for this this run. Let's say. Um, I haven't touched this game since I think May because I beat it in early May. So I. I I know, like, the basic mechanics, it's just gonna take me a bit to, like, refresh on everything. So, yeah, we can go ahead, get a new save started. Okay, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use lowercase, because, let's just call it Meg. I, I hate... No, let's not. Let's not. I actually hate being called Meg. Should I just do peace in? Or let's 
let's just do P. I think. No, that sounds bad. That sounds bad. Let's let's just do P. There's a Robin in the game. I was gonna say we should do like a neutral name. I kept pressing B by accident. Sorry. Get the buttons mixed up. So I'm gonna name it Tiblin. That was the name of my Animal Crossing town. I actually named my original town Tiblin too. I think. Oh well, because like I think just like Tiblin. It sounds cute, you know. Tiblin. Like tumbling, Tiblin. Favorite thing? <laughs> Can I put Pippi? <laughs> okay. Oh, I can put 500 characters? Let's put long bike rides. Sounds like a dating profile. There we go. Ooh, we could choose the cat, we could choose the cat. Okay, we're not getting a fucking dog. There's only three cat options. Badge. That one looks weird. Like, that guy looks too happy. I like the gray cats a lot. Like, I, if I get a cat, I really want a calico. Uh, I don't really care about this stuff. Make it a bit darker. A little bit of contrast. Ooh, light blue jeans, light blue jeans are in right now. Okay, this, this part is gonna take a bit, so... Bear with me. Ooh, that was cute, that was cute. That one's cute. Okay, we gotta get a plaid, because that's what I'm wearing today. Not, not that I'm gonna wear this every stream. <laughs> Peter Pan looking ass. <laughs> He's like, I want to look cute, but also like, I'm working the farm, you know? Oh, that one is cute. Okay, I like that one a lot. That one's actually adorable. Shorts? I'm not wearing a fucking skirt. Ooh, that belt. Oh, it's actually just the first option. But there was like makeup. I thought was really cute. Um. I um. I think that one's problematic. What's the difference on that one. Oh, it's making my face rounder. Filters, am I right? I'm leaning in so I can like see everything. Kinda like that. Looks slutty for Now gotta decide which farm. On my original game I did the forest. Cause, like I just like wooded areas a lot so like I wanted to try either the riverland or the hilltop my only concern about like the riverland I haven't seen any of the other worlds is that I like when on my original scene like everything was in like that I had to do daily was in one spot that way I didn't have to travel on my, around my farm but I found it so annoying um, because I know like I'm also thinking I'm gonna go with the hilltop because I like how it has minerals nearby yeah let's go for that I know grinding materials is like essential when you're first starting out that we can like get like the base equipment and stuff I'm gonna go for that
how Grandpa's dying. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Bro, look, he's got a sword. Pretty badass. No, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Bruh, why? <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> when that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Oh, do you see that hand twitch? Now, like Grandpa rest. Years later. I don't think I could ever do a desk job. Do a terminated. All the desks look like shitty and dirty too. You know that guy's dead, far right. I think it's funny how we just kept the envelope in our desk drawer as just a reminder. They're like, oh yeah, this is an option too. I have a joke. I'm not gonna say it. it's it's really bad. We're not we're gonna save that for like offline chat. <laughs> okay. Dear Peason, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Sibling farm. Fuck, it looks so bad. Lowercase in the farm is uppercase. Oh my god. I'll explain why I like lowercases later, but that's gonna piss me off. I don't know if I can change that. Anyway. Back on track. Is located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. Is it in fucking Florida? Uh oh. <laughs> this is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Oh, we crashed. <laughs> Robin. Hello. You must be Peason. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I wonder if the towns look different with every... I guess, different environment you choose? This is Tiblin Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer.
Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. Quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Rusty might be a little more apt, though. Don't listen to her, Peason. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. The inside is- okay. I didn't realize my, like, interior decorating would be different. Ooh, crystal mommy. Oh, that's interesting. So, I know there's, like, different mechanics for the TV. I never really used it. Oh, I know... I know this one is tips. Welcome to Living Out the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This is one for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild foliage, forage, to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Oh yeah, there's no recipe lady yet. Oh, look at that. Love the wood flooring. I hate the brick wall. We hate that. So I'll figure out. Ooh, got seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Is this the next day? Got 500 gold. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. I fucking hated, like, watering everything every day. Like, I just want to get those sprinklers. I kind of want to look around here. Greenhouse is here, okay. Ooh! There's a lot of area over here. Yeah, that's where the bats are. Or the mushrooms, I think. I chose bats on my save because I just wanted fruit for gems. I might go with mushrooms on this save, though. I think- I really like this environment so far, how there's like different levels. I really like that.
I assume this is where, like, you put your farm. Man, this place is, like, huge. This one is gonna be really fun to decorate because there's different levels. So you can put, like, different... I guess, buildings on it. But we can't get over here because we need the upgraded axe. Okay. Oh, that sucks because how are we gonna get to... The farm later. Or maybe I can put like... Oh my god, I... I'm so used to like my... My like... End game save. To where... Like, all the tools are super OP. Okay, back here. God, it takes so many jobs. Rearrange the... The hoe. Okay, that's a pretty good setup. I assume it wants us to put the props here. I, I, I'm I trying to debate what like what's going to be the best steps to make in terms of like if I want to focus on mining or grinding up cash first. Because when I played first Looking back, I should have mined a lot more. That way I was able to get like the basic materials. That way I could... Jeez, it's already 12. I hate this. Like, just give me the good tools. And I, I figured out after a while. Break them out of energy. Break. I, I guess. Can you buy food? I don't know if you can buy food. Oh, I, yeah, you can buy you can buy groceries, or I can fish. I don't have a fishing rod. I forgot you got to talk to the. I don't know his name. This is a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all but the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Hello. You must be Peace and the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. Have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Bruh, I love Abigail. I didn't realize her birthday was so early on. I either want to go for pursuing Haley or Leia, I think her name. They went for Abigail first game. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move in here. Spring is lovely. We don't have much money. Oh, I can't buy any food. Frick. Wait. 
Oh my god, it feels so bad. It feels so bad. Yeah, I think what we'll have to do is get some seeds started tomorrow and then just fish so we can get money. Oh, oh, my inventory is full. Frick. Okay, 2,000. That's not too bad. First thing I always do in any game is upgrade my inventory. That's the first thing I do. I craft? Oh, okay, there it is. I think I don't have enough room. Made a mistake. It's gonna suck to like get the inventory upgraded. Not what I wanted. Oh my god, I'm so out of energy. Oh no. Let's get the cauliflower started first. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I wonder how, like, Far I can go. Oh no. <laughs> Oops. Rip. Okay, let's go. I keep finding cool stuff when my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. You're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious and someone was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much money they took. They ran away as soon as I approached. Be more careful. Aww. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. That's his name. Okay, so let's get some more seeds planted at least. I think what we're gonna do is get some plants started. And so week one, just grind fish so we have hella money. Because I think the crop that takes the longest amount of time is cauliflower, which is 11 or 10 days, I believe. We're gonna get our fishing rod, grind fishing for the first week, gradually get some crops, that way we can get enough money to get some new tools, or upgrade, it, upgrade our tools so we can go mining. Aw, oh, nothing else open. Hey! Good morning. I didn't really- Oh, I forgot that you could use emotes in other chats. I'm at work with you in my back pocket. Okay. I got you. 
Keeping me in your ear. <laughs> Hoi there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe I'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Finally! Get fishing. Oh my god, the bamboo pole is so shit, though. There's good water here in the valley. 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 <laughs> All kinds of fish. Oh yeah. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. It smells and sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say, anyway. Oh, right there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Yeah, I wouldn't. We got a sardine. I used to hate the fishing mechanic, but I think it's just because, like, I hated the pole. Like, the bamboo pole is. Horrible. The green bar- oh, I forgot how to fish. The green bar is far not big enough. In my main save, I had like a chest with just purple and gold star fish. But what's the point? Like, I don't think- Because I know like- the quality level does not affect, like, the friendship level when you give people items. So the strat is just to keep, like, the lowest value items, like, if you're gonna cook or gift them. And then just sell the higher quality items. Oh my god, this one's so difficult. <laughs> I lost it. Should I get the training rod? I might want to. That way I can just get more fish now. Go ahead, get it for now. Cause like, it's so hard to catch like the rare fish anyway. Ooh, got some trash. Ooh, bar's big. Bar's big. We love that. Bigger's better. Ooh, cool. I'm out of energy already. 
We hate this. And it's only 11? Bro, this is too much like real life. Ooh, bait! Yes, okay. Good shit. Wait, I forgot how to how to put it on. Oh my god. Oh no. Can I not put bait on? I, f I okay, I forgot how to do it. We'll figure that out later. We can't fish anymore today anyway. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock. We can probably just walk around and meet people now. Who's Pierre? Why would someone upgrade? Oh, okay, it says right there. We're trashing an item, you reclaim 50% of the value. I never really use the trash can, because, like, I just hoard everything. Um, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Oh, bro, look, he's got fucking bright-ass green walls. <laughs> He must be a creator or something. You know, people painting just a single panel wall with bright green so they can... Chroma key. Chroma key it out. Forgot what it's called. Oh, Pierre's gone. Is he Leo? Oh, it's Tuesday. Everyone's at the... The... What you call it? What you call it? They're working out. That was your first night at the old cottage. I do all my grocery shopping here. Me too, man. Oh my god, Abigail! My queen! Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. So, she was trespassing? Rebel. We love that. Hey! It's Miss Peace and the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local grocery store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Question. Does Pierre give, like, a higher markup than the Dropbox? I can never figure that out. I can probably look that up. Um, a little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Biden sounding ass is like, Let's boost the economy. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Yeah, I don't want to say that. <laughs> oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Emily is like 
a bit too weird for me. She's a crystal mummy and like, Loki don't like that. <laughs> now Mary Lou's told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. <laughs> Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. Me this morning. Okay. Have we met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. I know, right? Like, I can't wait to, like, move out and, like, meet my neighbors. Sound sounds, like, really, like, lame, but that sounds fun to me. Like, just make cookies for everyone and be like, Oh, I just moved in. Here's a basket of cookie of cookies. Let's see, it's two o'clock. It's irritating to have to meet all these pe new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. No. Buzz off. If that's not a mood, then... <sighs> I can't walk in on Alex? Darn. It's not my type anyway. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Please relax and enjoy yourself. Oh, you can buy food from him, I forgot. Oh my god, it's too expensive. We, we broke ass bitches here. I try to go to Robin's before she closes at five. Greetings! I'm Demetrius, local scientist and farmer. Or, f father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have I met my daughter Maru? Maru? She's interested to meet you. Oh ho! I was so close to pursuing Maru in my personal save. Like, her cutscenes are really cute. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here her out here alone. Ooh, I could just walk in the tent. <laughs> Isn't that not just the social commentary on how we treat the homeless people? Because we can just walk on their quote unquote property or their safe spaces. When like in the game it's disrespectful to walk into people's homes. Where's Maru? Well, oh, she's not here. Probably at the doctor's office then. But they're already closed. Oh, there she is. <clears throat> oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Yeah, she's cute. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community community dynamic. It's exciting. Oh, there's Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get a Going to get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk to me. 
Fucking Chad. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. This town's safe, but I always walk the children home anyway. <gasps> hey, Lizzo. We love her. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Uh-oh. I'm Haley. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Didn't mom tell you not to talk to strangers, kiddo? Oh, right there. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah, I just barge into your home. <laughs> You've already talked to Leia. Jean might be here. No, just missed it. I don't know if we can go back this way. I don't have enough energy. Maybe we can try. It's nice how the scythe doesn't take any energy, like, that's- that's great. Oh fuck, why did I water the rock? Oh, I can't pick him up, Sag. I could probably put crops down here, too. Probably a better spot. Once you get sprinklers, I'll move them down here. Okay, I'm gonna put... This in here for now. That way we can go fishing, we have an extra space. Ooh, don't throw it away. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, let's work till we drop. My buns look like little bunny ears almost. <laughs> good fishing could probably leave the it's a cold the watering bucket and the hoe at home that we can get an extra two fish but we don't have to rain we don't have to rain today we don't have to water today We can leave these here for now. Get to fishing.
Who is Shane? <laughs> this weather makes me thirsty. Okay. Bit weird. More trash. More fucking trash. I know you can like compost your trash. I'm going to keep. The driftwood, because that one turns into wood when you compost it. Ooh, we got a good one. I'm not sure if, like, how hard you throw the bobble affects the quality of the fish. I think it does. I also do not appreciate how different like quality levels of items take more spaces in your inventory. Like if I catch like a silver star herring, it would count as a different item and take up another slot. I did not appreciate that. I think it's funny how people have the expectation videos games have like infinite inventory like <laughs> it's not like that in real life either but it's just funny like i know i do too i'm like how can i only have 10 slots that makes no sense So I think I'll grind fishing tomorrow and then Friday talk to the rest of the neighbors because most everyone will be at the pub Friday night. That way I don't have to wander too much. Because we're on that Sigma grind set. So I know there's runs you could do where you can beat the community center in like a year or two years. Which is crazy. Like I think I'd beat or got the community center a little after three years. Well, that's because like I wasn't really trying. I should have left all my other tools at home too. Because the only tool you really need to carry when you're out and about is the hoe. That way, because there's sometimes hidden items in the dirt.
I don't want to throw this fiber away, though. Oh my god, I'm such a hoarder. Like, legit. I get it from my parents. There's clutter all over the house. Like, we gotta keep, like, everything. I think it's because, like, we see the value in most items. More seaweed. My sister, she'll just eat Nodi like on its own. Nodi is seaweed. Like she'll snack on it, which is really weird to me. More seaweed. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to get fish ponds. Because most any fish besides the legendaries you can put into the ponds. And then you get like roux. Or not roux, but fish eggs. Roux? I don't know what it's called. And then some you get like different items like wood or ink. And like the ponds just look cool too. I can't wait till like get to year two. Because year one is just about the grind. Oh, I forgot it. I have full inventory. Because I think the best strat is to grind like mining and fishing year one. And then focus on crops that you have like all the proper equipment. Like sprinklers and Composters, barrels, and wine for cellars, that type of thing. Or it's best for like making money, rather. I left the city only to <laughs> be following that capitalist grind set. I mean, before I was working in an office, so you know, making money for, for yourself, I guess it would be better. I think we're done fishing for now because it's going to close in an hour. Two more fish, two more fish. Just two more. I've never gone fishing IRL. I kind of want to, but then it looks boring. So when I go biking in the morning, um, it's near a river. So that I see a lot of like people fishing in the morning. Ooh, okay, we, we gotta go, gotta go. Me walking in the door at 4.59. Order 10 sandwiches. I mean, that's low-key my dad, though. Like, he'll walk into, like, any store right before it closes. But he's nice about it.
Who can we catch, Marnie? Walking in 10 minutes before close again. Oh, she's not here. Oh, she is. She's in the kitchen. I was gonna say, she's probably like sucking off Pierre. We don't know. <laughs> you look like you're soaked, you poor thing. Already met her. Rip. Can stop everything off. I don't think I can attach bait to this training rod. I kind of want to move my tools to the right side. Because, like, I'll always instinctively, like, flick to the right. Okay. So we are about an hour into today's stream. Gentle reminder, get some water if you need to get a snack too. Also, if you're new here, drop a follow. You can help me out a lot if you're a returning viewer. Thank you. I appreciate you. Hydration time. Level two fishing. Oh, yeah, spring onions. I'll need to remember to get those. Fucking crows. Yeah, we don't really have enough money to buy more seeds. We need some water. I mean, the river's so far away from that plot. 
I used to see no need to like craft a well. And now I do. We're gonna go fishing. I guess I can't go that way. I know there's a mechanic too that lets you fast travel. It's like one of the final upgrades you can get for like items. But it takes an insane amount of money. Like one of them, because like they're pillars, they cost like a million coins. Insane. I mean, I know I'm like spoiling and leaking all everything. Because <laughs> I've beat the game already. I mean, it's kind of like, if you haven't seen the movie, you're probably not going to see it anyway, you know? I got people being spoilers all the time. What we get, what we get. Oh, coal, we love that. Coal is always so hard for me to grind. Because you only get it randomly when you pickaxe rocks. Actually, what do I need for a scarecrow? I know it's wood and coal and fibers, I think. Lots of shit. And coal, bait, iron. That's some good shit. I think that large, like, bloop sound means trash. Yep. Trash. I 
I think to unlock the new rods, you have to upgrade your fishing levels, I think. I really want to get that better rod. It'd make life so much easier. Ooh, more bait. If you ever see those flipping air bubbles, that means like a fish nest or something. That'll always spawn fish. A lot. Of course he's gone. Sad. We got a perfect. I think it's funny because we left the city to like build real relationships but like i'm just choosing not to talk to anyone <laughs> i think the time for like building relationships is in year two once you have like your base farm set up it's like i'm basically just gonna be a hermit year one Another perfect. I forgot how, like, soothing this game is. I haven't touched it in ages. Like, I could legit play this all day. Like, when I was in, like, full Stardew Valley mode, like, on my days off, I would play for, like, eight hours straight. It was bad. Like, now that I'm not working, that's why I stopped playing, because I would just play it all day. <laughs> I think a reason why I like like role playing games a lot is because I really like seeing progression and like seeing like goals being achieved. I remember another reason why I stopped playing my main save was because like I beat the community center and I got most everyone to max level. I got I met a couple of the secret characters, but I didn't like get them to full friendship level. Because like it got to the point where like I'd play and it's like what do I do? Like, what's the point of playing now when there's nothing to work for, or towards, rather?
Let's go ahead and go back and then try and clear our debris on the farm. Like, first thing when I got Animal Crossing was just, like, clearing out all the fucking weeds. How you doing? Doing good! Oh, there's Ellie. Okay, doing good. Feeling not sick at all today, which is great. Hope you're doing well, too, and hope work is going okay. <laughs> I mean, it sucks to be at work, but you're gonna chill with Megan. Make work a little bit better, question mark? Um, yeah, the new farm we've all been expecting. Your news arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I wanted to go for Elliot, but, like, he seems too boring. He's like, I write poems. <laughs> I mean, it's basically making fun of myself. <laughs> he just stays in his cabin and, like, writes all day, which is, like, what I do, but I draw all day. I forgot to get the spring onions. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Why can't I pick up this dandelion? Oh, that must be a higher quality one. On your 10? Okay. Nice. Here. <laughs> Worker, I will get a 10 minute break. Such bad Wi-Fi behind the subway, Sag. Oh my god, I thought I saw my fishing rod and I, like, had a heart attack. Yeah, like, I fucking hate how Twitch just eats up your data, too. Like, one day I was biking home from work, and it's like, it was maybe two miles away. So, like, I had, like, Twitch playing for, like, 15 minutes, and it took, like... Almost one whole gig of data. And it's just like, oh my god. Like, no Twitch on mobile anymore. If I'm not at home. We got an acorn. I remember when I unlocked the greenhouse, it was low key underwhelming. Mainly because, like, I saw posts and, like, people putting trees in it. But, like, I couldn't figure out how to grow trees in it. And I was sad. I felt scammed. Oh, I can't make a scarecrow yet. I I guess that comes in the mail a later date then. That sucks. Who else do I still need to meet? I think I've met everyone in town. Marnie at my door. Hello. 
Hello. You see this cat here? <gasps> I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, do you think... Don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Yes. Yes. I can say no. Okay, we're gonna say yes anyway. Wumbo. <laughs> Nimuno? Nimumo. I cannot say that. Wap. Okay, we're gonna name it Wap. That's a funny meme. Well, little wop. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. You be a good kitty now, okay? <laughs> it, it's funny, because it, okay, children, close your ears. Like, it's funny, because it's like wet ass pussy, and then she's calling it a good kitty. Comedy. Oh my god, this is great. He's gonna be scarecrow recipe. Ooh, he's got the better fishing rod. Nice. Okay, to our value, Joja Mark customers. Our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant in initial L61091 Jojo Co. Amendment, responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Seems kind of sus, man. Oh, okay, I get the Scarecrow when I upgrade farming. Okay. Got some money. Okay, former people. I'm gonna keep these parsnips for now. Or should I sell them? I'll keep them for now. Okay, we're gonna go. Hold off on upgrading inventory for now. Get the new fishing rod, attach bait to it, catch hello fish, make bank, and then get that backpack upgrade. And you can sell shells at the the fishing shack too. I forgot. Me and Willie. Fishing all day, every day. That's gonna be trash. No, oh, no, it's a fish. My hypothesis, my <laughs> hypothesis was incorrect.
Oh my god, it costs 1800 That's a lot of money. I think the backpack upgrade is more important right now. Or no. Then I can get more fish. I'm conflicted. Because we only really need the backpack upgrade if we're going to start mining. So that can wait. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I think we'll fish to get... Ooh, but then seeds are expensive too. Because crops are not important right now. Eternally debating. I mean, this is not a speed run, so I don't need to be thinking too hard. <laughs> We haven't met Shane. That's who we haven't met. Because he broods on the dock like Elliot. We should have enough for the rod now. Ah, okay, we can, we can get one seed. <laughs> one seed today. Ooh, crab pots are great too. Give me that fiberglass rod. Okay, so let's go buy that one seed. And then fish till everyone gets to the saloon. This stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. Oh, I just realized it's Friday. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. Lol, same. Okay. I know Abigail likes jazz flowers. He loves those. We're not going for Abigail this time. We're not going to do it. Even though I want to. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Hi, Pot. Curly haired friend. Yes, I do have curly hair. <laughs> Hope we're doing well today. This is a new Stardew Valley save. 
So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm trying to think of like the best strat on like to be the most efficient and like use my time wisely in year one. But, like my strat right now is just to grind fishing. And then start mining halfway through the year. Or next season probably. Once I upgrade all my tools and stuff. Oh, old lady. <laughs> Not her name, but... Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I love Evelyn. So sweet. So iron tools and chickens by the end of year one? Maybe. That'd be nice. I think I just want to, like, build up. Like, have... All my sprinklers and fields set up. Have all... Um... I don't know what they're called. The jam makers. All the wine barrels. Get that all set up. Maybe... For sure have the coop by then. I'm all... Because like, I want to make my farm look pretty. So, like, I'm trying out the hilltop setup. Like, everything is spread out. So, like, I'm also thinking, like, how I want to plan about... Oh, I'm going to go about planning the setup. Mini building? My goal is... Um, end of year two. That's the goal. I think right now I need to just focus on, like, grinding money. And year two, those are both goals. Yeah, I think in my- this is my second time playing. I- I got community center right after grandpa showed up. So I think like, after year three, I think. Like right after year three. And I was bummed because like, I could have gotten it done. And not disappointed grandpa. But do you play on your own? You seem to know like, the basic mechanics and stuff. Or, like, the goals. Ooh, rice shoots. I hate the rice. They're annoying to grow. I play now and then again. Okay. I, I definitely... Because I only tried two different... I tried forest. My first game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never say hey, rice. I love rice. Like, I love her. My mom's diabetic, so we can't make rice anymore. Or, like, if I make rice, she gets mad. She's like, why are you eating in front of me? But like, I love rice. You know, Asian, we love rice. <laughs> but I want to try, like, different saves with each of the different environments. Not looking forward to, like, playing the beach save. Because watering crops does not work. Or sprinklers don't work. I think it's said. Which is a bummer, because I fully rely on the sprinklers. Diabetics can't eat rice? Yes, because um, they have to limit how many carbohydrates and sugar they have. Um, I don't know the specifics, but it's basically like, it takes more like, they lack like the internal, I was going to say receptors, but like chemical makeup to where like they can't process it as well. But, like they have to limit how many carbs they eat. Um, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Oh, there's Pam, I think? Yeah, Pam. Hey, kid. My name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. <laughs> okay. No, no, carbohydrates are the best. I know. I know, like, I love pasta. I love rice. Like, I can still make it for myself. It's just she can't eat it. It's a bummer. Like, she can have, like, if it's a gluten-free flour, so, like, if it's almond flour or, like, monk sugar, because those are, like, fake sugar, so it doesn't have the same, like, chemical makeup says. 
the real thing, I guess. Ooh, Robin. Who haven't I talked to? You met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. Yeah, just talk to him. Oh yeah, I talked to Jody, you talked to Shane. Fucking trash. I mean, frick, frick. <laughs> Everyone's going to the bar. Yeah, I've talked to everyone. Who haven't- Oh, this guy. I haven't talked to this guy. Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Good to meet you? Okay, I've never heard that. I've heard nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, but good to meet you. That sounds weird. Yeah, I've met everyone now. Good to meet you, dude. Yeah, it sounds weird. Sounds weird. Okay, Willie's gonna like a fish. A gift, thanks. Most everyone likes flowers. Except for... Forgot the old man's name, Greg. Maybe? And I think Sebastian does not like flowers. Most everyone else does, though. Okay, so we've met everyone in town now, finally. Yeah, so for now... Drop off our fish to sell. Plant my four seeds that I bought earlier. And then try and clear some debris before nightfall. My throat just got really dry all of a sudden. biggest cup I've ever seen. It's one of those like venti or like trenti cups you can buy from Starbucks. Like the reusable kind. This is my mom's that sh her friend bought her from Disneyland that I stole. So yes, it's <laughs> I don't like cups with handles. Like I'd rather just have like okay the reason why I use a big ass cup is so like I don't have to refill my cup every five seconds, you know? Stop clowning on me. <laughs> That's the Jesus, you can feel a jumbo jet with that. Well, I'm staying hydrated. You know, I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> Give me shit. It's funny. It, it's great. I love memers. <sighs> okay, so let's get our hoe. I'm gonna put my tools in my other crate for now. There we go. As long as you can include this, all that counts. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I try and drink, like, at least two of those big-ass cups every day. Mm. Let's 
here. Oh, it's a stump. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you looking like a shriveled prune, but you were teasing me for drinking from a big ass cup. So like, you're wanting me to look like a prune with the way you're acting. So I blame you. Okay, let's not pass out now. <laughs> Can't be a prude with curly hair. How about a prune with straight hair? Loopholes. I guess that could work. Yeah, loopholes. Oh, I can get my bait now. Oh, that's a training rod. There we go. That's the right one. So what can we craft? Nothing really. Oh, we have the cat now. I'm so happy. I wonder what would happen if you said no. Oh, we can make crab pots now. Crab pots are OP. You do nothing and then you get stuff. You said no? How could you say no to Stray Cat? What happened? Did like you get it anyway or did it just like show up later? I was debating whether or not to say no, but then I, I got sad thinking about it. Because like IRL, I want a cat so bad, but my mom hates them, so I'm not allowed to get them. Nothing, you didn't have to deal with it. All it does is walk around. Like, it literally doesn't affect anything. You just sound like a hater. <clears throat> Dear Farmer, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you could bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Sardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. You have to water their bowl? I didn't know that. I thought it... <laughs> what hap... Oh! Like, do you gain hearts if you water them? Or feed it water? Okay, I had no idea I was supposed to do that. That makes sense, though. Oh, look, she's so happy now. <laughs> You're a bet pet owner, yeah. I mean, probably. Maybe that's why my mom will let me get a cat, because, like, I'll probably kill it. I thought like it just walked around. I thought it was just like aesthetic. Like, oh, we have a cat that just walks around now. Like the horse, you don't have to feed the horse. It just it just stands there and then you ride it. I named my cat Wop. <laughs> See, is, is there any like heart gauge for the cat? There's literally not. Wop. Yeah, it's 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 a famous song. If you don't get it, you don't get it. <laughs> stop, stop, that's not that's not what I was trying to do. I'm not trying to marry the cat. The the heart is also friendship level, okay? <laughs> I'm not a furry, okay? 
I did not like Beauty and the Beast growing up. He did that movie. It seemed gross. Max. Your character looks like you, but where's your lipstick? Yeah, I don't wear makeup. Never have, never will. I mean, I might someday, but I just think the lipstick is cute. Like, usually when I play, like, characters, I'll choose, like, a male character. But I really like the different hair sprites in this game for the females. It's kind of like how when guys play games, it's, like, it's better to choose a female that we can just, like, look at them, you know? I have such peachy skin. E. I'm white passing. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm 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 light skinned. I used to be like really pale when I was little. Like I'm a bit tanner now, so like my dad is Hispanic, but he's like white. He's totally white passing, it's weird. Do I do I fake tan? No. I don't do any like body altering things. Like I don't wear makeup, I don't I don't have any piercings or tattoos. I don't know. I, I have, like, this weird thing about, like, things having permanence over me. Like, tattoos, like, yes, you can get it removed, but, like, it's still there for an extended period of time. I know fake tans fade, but I really like, I guess, being authentic. Like, that sounds bad. Like, people can do whatever they want, just, like, not for me, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And, like, also, like, once you start, like, wearing makeup or start tanning, you have an expectation to look like that. That's why, like, in middle school or high school, I never wanted to try makeup. Because then people are like, oh, you look so much better with it. Or, like, you look totally different. Or, like, you look ugly with a bare face. And it's like, that's not the kind of, like, I don't need that added pressure, <laughs> basically. natural look how we should be i think yeah i agree i mean like there's definitely like too much fake the world today for sure i think there's definitely like an appeal to using like makeup in a professional setting like i.e for like a photo shoot or like artistically because that is more expressive when you're doing it for like a specific occasion but, like for everyday use like okay Loki gonna get SGW, but like it's it's for the male gaze. That's all it's really for. Like yes, it can be for like your own self confidence. Like if you feel better wearing it, go for it. But, like the whole like reason why people dress up or wear makeup is to appease others, for the most part. Which like I'll I'll do at times. Like I'll wear more like risque or exposing things, but. Ultimately, not for myself. Mm -hmm. And also, like, is Loki dumb how women are expected to dress up or, like, wear makeup every day when, like, men aren't? It, it's a whole, it's a whole nother tangent I can go off on. Me and my friend got into a really good discussion about, like, makeup in general. This was a male friend a while ago. And we were talking about how, like, kids wearing makeup at a young age is basically just, like, um, having them grow up too soon.
I see you have thought about this quite a lot. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely the type to overanalyze things. Mainly because, like, I took AP Lit. Like, they teach you to, like, think about everything. Like, I'm usually, a, like, a quiet person. But that the... Just because you're quiet does not mean we're, like, we're not thinking. You know what I mean? Like, I was definitely the quiet kid in school. Like, anytime we had, like, a group discussion, like, I'd want to speak up. Like, I thought I had some pretty good takes, you know? Like, I just didn't feel confident confident enough talking. Because, like, in discussions, it's mainly, like, whoever talks the loudest is going to be heard the most, right? Whoever talks the most people are going to listen to. <laughs> it's the quiet ones you have to worry about. Yeah, like, school shooter kids, those for sure you got to worry about, but not the quiet, anxious kids, you know? Which was me. My, 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 like, sense of humor is really dark and, like, edgy, so just keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> this show is not rated R, but I'd say, like, PG-13. Well, let's just go into political debates while playing a chill game like Stardew Valley. Let's go. Ooh, more beat. Okay. BRB, not a problem. I'll be here. Ooh, perfect. We're getting better fish now, too. Oh, because we're, like, higher fishing level. Makes sense that we're catching better fish now. It's also probably because we're also using bait, probably, too. I know there's a machine to where you can craft bait. But I think it's just better to just buy it. Only costs 10 cents. Or $10 in-game. Or is it $5? It's 5 or 10 It's It's affordable, basically. So let's sell our fish. Never mind. <laughs> Man, that sucks. Willie, I hate you. Give me my shittiest fish. Is that a Nintendo Switch console? Yeah, I'm playing with my Pro Controller. I'm not a PC gamer. I want to get into it, but not there yet. There goes all my money. Ugh. Broke now. Yeah, I just like the feel of the Pro Controller. 
Like, I know I can play on my laptop, but like... I like the feel of the controller in my hands. Yeah, I don't have any- or we have a PlayStation, but it's in my sister's room. The only game I really played on there was Ghost of Tsushima, which I really liked. Which me and my sister actually replayed recently. Like, I kind of want to play Tsushima on stream, but then it's like, it's almost like a bit too gory. Like, there's a couple, like, decapitation scenes, which, like, I could, like, show off screen. But it's still, like, rough to watch. I mean, like, I don't mind them. It's just, like, I don't want a kid to tune in and be like, oh, no. <laughs> and, like, traumatize them, you know? I bought one of those third-party controllers for the Switch. Shitty thing doesn't connect anymore. Badge. Don't like sniff knobs. They sounded all wrong. Oh, man. Yeah, like, I'm trying to only buy, like, uh, like, not knockoff. Like, tech equipment. I'd rather just, like, buy it from the, like, the actual store, from the actual manufacturer. Because, like, I got... Like a gold hardcover case for this pro controller instead of just buying like the gold skinned pro controller. And because it has screws on the bottom, right? Like teeny tiny ass screws, but it wouldn't come out. <laughs> like we couldn't get the screws out. So, like, it was pointless. Like, it was, it was a cute case, but like, I couldn't even get it on. Like, my, okay, full cam real quick. Story time. My pro controller, because like when we screwed it back on, because it has screws on the bottom here, like we couldn't get them screwed all the way back in. So like we had to tape these bottom handles back on. So like my controller still works fine, but like is so scuffed. <laughs> nice tape, yeah. It's great. I mean, it's fine. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm used to getting, like, secondhand shit, so, like, it doesn't bother me. But it's still a bummer. <laughs> Can I get some of that magic tape? Will it make me play better? Maybe. Maybe. It's, maybe it's just like lucky tape. Oh, okay, we didn't get knocked out. Bah! <laughs> now I'm sluggish. For sure, bedtime now. I still think it's funny how in this um, mode of the game, like, I'm a crystal mommy. Got my amethyst on the table. Maybe I should invite Abigail over. She'd love that. Okay. Fuck. Oh, we got a scarecrow. Nice. So we are about two hours into today's stream. I might go for maybe, like, an hour more. Uh, gentle reminder. Get some water if you need it. Got my big-ass cup here. Um... If you're new here and like what you see, drop a follow. It helps me out. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you. Helping me out too. I could chug this all now if I really wanted to. I can't wait to like... I can have channel points so I can do like gambas. Like, doing the channel point gambling is like my favorite thing. To do as a viewer. Oh, we got a recycling machine. 
Who got that money? Oh shit, that's a lot. What's nice is if you click the pluses, you can see how much each item individually sells for. Really nice. So like, when you're crafting, you can see which ones sell better. Ooh, Queen of Sauce, finally. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. Learned how to cook stir fry. I think the recipes are overrated. Like, it doesn't really do much. Like, they sell for crap. Like, you might as well buy the food from the market if you're trying to get, like, food for energy. I'm going this way. Um. <clears throat> I kind of want to go for the mines, but I don't want to do that until I have my next backpack upgrade. I forgot what I was saying. Recipes, yeah. Recipes, you can only really... You only really need them when you want to, like, gift people things. Because people like specific foods. But otherwise, like, for selling and crafting, food is not good. It's better to just pickle or, or like, ferment items. Like, with the... In your wine cellar or in the juice barrels. Oh, this one's rough. Oh, uh -huh, man. Sad. The shop is closed on what I think the shop is closed on Wednesdays. I think. Yes, yeah, closed Wednesdays. Right. So to make sure I buy some seeds before Wednesday. I think I'll just like empty my wallet and get hella seeds and then get that backpack upgrade. Please, come on. Oh, thank goodness we got it. We got a catfish, nice. Yeah, okay, for sure not gonna sell that because those are hella hard to catch. We're gonna hoard that catfish. Ooh. 
Got a shad. Probably another catfish. Missed. Oh, man. I don't really need flowers now. I'm going to wait to buy flowers until I can get my beehives. Broke again. Let's go.
Wood, coal, and fiber. We for sure got that. I'm going to see if I can get some leaks before I forget again. I know they're here down to the right. Nice, we got some.
I did not realize this was here. Oh, that's great. It's actually really good. Yeah, I really like how we have that mine deposit there. That's really good. I want to craft another crate. That way I can put just fish and food in it. <laughs> we sell hats, okay, Poke? Come to that old, old house, Poke. Bring coins. Wasn't too interested in, like, the hats and stuff. I think we're gonna go for some river fishing and then go to the beach. Can't forget the leeks. Or onions. Oops. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
star. Mm -hmm. Eating some good fish today. Why did you become a farmer? Yeah, we're going for Leia this time. Penny, hi. What, did you want something? Another perfect, nice.
Got some coal, nice. Elliot, I'm kind of new th to this town myself, but I really feel at home. I moved here over a year before you. It looks like a hat. The back of my head. It looks like a cowboy hat. Maru, whenever I'm struggling with technical problems, I always take a walk. It's surprising how much a change of scenery can help. Caroline, I wish Ivy wouldn't spend so much time in her room. Here, or Lewis. It's a good season to start thinking about gardening, even for us non-farmers. The valley is known for producing some of the finest spring flowers. Alex, did you know I was an all-star quarterback in high school? It's true. See this little star on my jacket here? That proves it. Evelyn, oh my, what a lovely day. Ooh, out of money. Happy go. Oh, hey, you taking a break from work? Sam. Hey, farmer. Sam. Oh, my head. Okay. Harvey, we sell a few over-the-counter medicines at the clinic. Feel free to stop by if you're feeling exhausted. I know that being a farmer is pretty high rank. Don't overdo it.
Wait, I wanted to put edible stuff in there. Okay, we need an iron bar. Okay. So we can either buy iron bars or wait till we can get a furnace. Well, that was nice. The mall harvest early.
Now, so I'm going to try and keep five of every base veggie and then sell the rest until I can get like fertilizer. Nice, so perfect.
Yeah, so I'm gonna keep any single star items in my inventory. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center. Or, what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town. Always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they could turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys Doja Corp membership, I'm going to just go ahead and sell it. Here, let's go inside. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more... dilapidated? Than I remember. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. You're worrying me. Look, I think I'm gonna go ahead home. I need some lunch. Okay, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Abigail, I'm not in a good mood right now. I said I'm not in a good mood. What do you want? Hey. Okay. okay. I'll just leave. So I think I'll fill my inventory with fish, sell it, and then head back and go plant these seeds.
Oh, come on. <laughs> the, the bloop sign is either good or bad. It's not consistent. Okay, perfect time. I was going to say, done fishing for now. I just love how the cat flops down. <laughs> so cute. I think I'll do one more game in day and then I'll end. Probably another 15, 20 ish minutes.
Hey, level two farming, nice. Oh, we finally got slinkers. Okay, that's great. Okay, I better choice is to get more money because resources aren't going to be too important in late game because you you'd be able to afford everything like buy materials. So we're going to get more money from fish. Have you settled into your new life yet? I can't believe you're all grown up now. Time sure flies. Now that you've gone, I've had, I have all this extra money laying around. So I included a little gift. Love, Dad. Nice. Okay, the shop is closed today, so I can't buy seeds. Oh, I... Well, okay. I guess today I'll just fish literally all day. That way I can save up for that backpack. Ooh, finally bait okay it sucks fishing without it Okay. So we're gonna get the spring onions, then sell our fish.
so close to that 2000. I low key want to keep playing. <laughs> He's like, I want to start the mining. I know I said I want to do one more day, but like, I could go for a little bit longer. Because, like, this doesn't, like, I guess, mentally exhaust me as much as, like, Odyssey or, like, stuff that has a lot more, like, concentration in it. I don't know. You got a lot from fishing today. Plus. Maybe we can do, like, one more day today? Okay, festival is Saturday, so maybe I can do two more days and then open next week with the egg festival. Maybe we can do that.
Oh, Geo, nice. Okay, so I think I'll do two more days in game. That way, next week we can start off with the egg festival. Because I have a bit more time today. Missing, I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return it ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 150 gold in forever finds it. Ooh, lots of good stuff there. Mm-hmm. 
Nice, got the backpack. Ooh, 10,000, okay.
Okay, there's probably one more in game. Oh, I didn't mean to skip through that, Sag. Um, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Yes! Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Yes, that's what I was waiting for. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. Selling, they're the best money you can buy. They're the best money can buy. And you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to see you soon. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stone scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 25 stone and 1,000 gold when you're ready for it. Okay. Tomorrow we're ho holding the egg festival in town square. You should arrive between 9 and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. Okay, what do we need for the furnace? Ooh. Maybe? Yes, okay, we have enough. Okay, I forgot what I needed. Stone. Okay, for sprinklers, I need a copper and an iron.
I think I'm gonna buy more seeds.
Okay, just in time before you closed. I forgot to look at the prices of the new rods. Darn.
Okay, so we're all ready to go start mining soon. Okay, go ahead here. Okay, cool. I went for a lot longer than I thought I would. Like, I was only planning on going for, like, two hours today, but, like, I haven't played Stardew Valley in ages, and, like, I didn't realize how much I miss playing it. Like, I kind of want to start, like, another new save <laughs> and just play that off stream, too. Um, yeah, so probably gonna be doing... I want my Odyssey run to be the main thing we're doing. So, as I said yesterday, I changed the schedule to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Odyssey run. Um... Friday or Thursday, it'll be either Stardew Valley or Mario Kart. I might switch the date, I don't know. But yeah, so tomorrow, back at it again. 11 a.m. with some Mario Kart Online. Yeah, so um, thank you to anyone who tuned in today. We had Cutie Lee pop in earlier. I appreciate you coming in and appreciate the support. So yeah, you all have a great day. Bye.